Hi everyone, this is Ross, and this is a video demonstrating the TG Leap client customization settings and how you can rebrand the client to suit your business brand and needs. So by default, when you load the TG Leap client for the first time, you'll see that we've pre-installed a template video background. This can be fully configured to a different video of your choosing or a series of images, and it plays in full screen when nobody is using the PC. If I was, was to interact with the PC with the mouse or keyboard, you can see that the login panel appears and the logo at the top can be configured as well as the primary and secondary colors. Now I'm gonna go ahead and log into the client. Once I log into the client, um, you'll see that there is this area that's central in the middle of the client home screen which initially has a welcome to GG Circuit temporary banner. Now we fully ex expect you to, to change that to something more suitable and that can be configured in the web admin. It can be a series of images or videos and you, you have the ability to set a, a URL if someone was to click on uh, the, the image in the middle uh, or video. There's the background uh, image that's playing, which can be configured. Uh, if I click on a different view, for example, that has less apps, we can see that there is the default GG Circuit video, which is playing in the background. We have the logo in the top left, as well as the traditional brand colors. Okay, so I'll drag over the web admin on top of the client PC. And this is something that can only be done in a development environment, but it's great for demonstrating how this functionality works. Okay, so uh, for the GG Circuit logo, which is the brand that you see in the top left and also in the login panel, um, we recommend replacing this with a transparent PNG image. Um, and here is the ideal pixel resolution as well. Um, so you can uh, either um, upload directly from your PC um, or you can just drag and drop. So I'm going to drop a different logo on here instead. Okay, so that then will replace the, the GG Circuit logo anywhere that appears. Uh, if I have a look below this, then we can see the background customization options. So this is the video that was playing when a user was not logged in and playing in full screen. And this is a video that was playing when a user was logged in in the background. So we can change all of this. And we can also change it on a per group basis. So if you have multiple rooms and you wanted to have different videos be showcased in different rooms, then that is possible. So I have created one additional group. You can go into the PC group settings and add as many groups as you would like so as to have different uh, video uh, customization options on each of the groups. So back to general systems, I'm going to go ahead and change the background. Now there are three here that we have as default, but you can also just create and, uh, and drag and upload your own videos. So I'm going to go ahead and drag over a video that I've created here and just drop it in and that will start the upload process. Okay, so the video is now being created. It is in the top left. I'm going to go ahead and select this video. And I'm going to change the background video. I can select the same video again. I can select one of the other defaults or I can continue to, to add my own content. I'm just going to select the sparkly gold video for a quick demonstration. Okay, so now I have created this config for my general systems. You'll see that my VIP, VIP systems remain unchanged. So this is what will show if I have a PC that is assigned to a VIP group, they will show this content, whereas the other PCs that are assigned to general systems group will show this content. If I scroll down, I can see this home screen that we previously saw in the client. And we would recommend replacing the welcome screen with a Discord QR code invite screen. So if you pop in your Discord server ID uh, here, uh, it will automatically generate a QR code and display that on your home screen so that your gamers can scan that with their phone and immediately be uh, put into your Discord server, which is great for marketing and also just for, for helping to build your community. So I'm going to save this change, uh, but then I'm also going to add a new slide and we can add as many slides as we would like, and they can be videos with that play in a loop or autoplay um, for any duration uh, or images. Um, and for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to add a second slide and add it in a image. So if I drag an image across, I'm going to call this, um, a game competition, something like that. And I will make this go for, I don't know, for 10 seconds. I'll have this just linked to an external URL just to show how that works. And I'm going to save those changes. Okay, so now I have two slides. I have my default slide, uh, which I'll just call Discord. 
I have my game competition promo slide and these are the two slides that will then play on the home screen. And if I then scroll down, I can now actually preview how this is going to look. So I can see here that my background video has been changed, my logo has been changed, and I can see actually that black text doesn't look so great on this. So I may I may well wait. I may well want to go and change my uh, my logo so that we have a better representation here. Um, but one of the things that I can do is change the colors to suit my brand. So I'll need a, I mean, I can have a look at some of these options here. You can see that you're changing the button colors. If I click on the home screen, again, I can see roughly how this is going to look. But I want to put in my custom uh, colors here. So if I pop in my hex, and hit apply. Oh, do not want to do that. That should be the secondary color. This one is all black. Okay, so now I can see a preview of how my brand is going to look with the color, colors that I've chosen with the background video effects. And now I'm ready to see how the actual slide is going to look. So let's put it back. Okay, so the client is booting up. It will download and cache any changes that I've made on the web admin so that they're saved locally. Okay, so as we can see, uh, the video, the new video that I've uploaded that is playing in the background. My logo has been changed. My colors don't seem to have been changed, though, so I'm just going to go back and check the web admin. I must not have saved that. Okay, so I can see that I did not hit the apply theme button. So now I hit that we have operation has been completed successfully. And again, I will reboot the client to make sure that change has taken effect. Made the changes. Client's booting up. And this time we can see, <coughs> excuse me, that the color change has been affected. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Okay, and this time we can see that the colors and branding has been changed as we requested. And also now there is a QR code here for my gamers to scan. We also have the secondary image, which I uploaded appearing here. If I click on this, it will open Google. So that kind of shows that you can add promotional content to your home screen uh, on, a, on, a, on a loop of, of different images or videos. And if the user clicks on any of those and you want them to go somewhere, then, then that can be configured as well. So this concludes the GGLead customization settings. I hope you enjoyed.